Hey guys, Rob Tuspo here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can get brand new dynamic skies in your Roblox game. And I'm not sure if you can actually, like, publish a Roblox game and it shows up. It's, like, more like, you know, for yourself in studio. Like, it, it'll look good. So, here is the post from November 20th. Like, it's, it, that's when I've just... It was private, but now it's in like beta. Like it's not released, but you can take a. We'll take a look at it in a second. So first, so yeah, basically they announced this like late last year, and then like this year it's just starting to come out. Um, I don't, I don't know if we're up to phase one A. Okay, so so this is what it, it's gonna look like. That looks nice though, right? Like those clouds. So there's two properties right now, and you guys will see them in the video. Cover and density. So before we get into Roblox Studio, I just wanted to tell you that over 90% of you guys are not subscribed. You should subscribe to me for more Roblox related videos and memes. It's free and you can unsub anytime. Let's get back onto the video. Okay, let's go. So basically, you open up Roblox Studio. Um, like, you don't have to be in the Roblox beta program to do this. So you just have to download Roblox Studio if you haven't. Or open it up. File. And then you go to beta features. And here. This is where you enable it. So you don't have to click this. I just click this. Um, you don't have to. And you don't have to click other stuff like I have. So basically you look for dynamic skies clouds initial phase 1. So this is what you check, right? Like I already have it checked. Press save and then it's gonna tell you to like restart Roblox Studio. And so yeah, close Roblox Studio and open it up. Like I'm not gonna do that because you know, I already have it, so. Okay, now load any game. Like let's do Powered Island. That's a good map. Like it's terrain and it's just gonna showcase clouds. Oh, I got that open. Okay, so here is the game. So basically to get clouds, right? Let me just change my FOV. So basically, um, you have to open insert objects. So to do this, you go to model and then you just click insert objects and you're gonna have a window pop up. And then you search clouds. Well, here it is. And also you have to do it this way because for some reason, if you do it here, it just doesn't show up. Like when I first did it here, I was like, wait, did I even install it? And if you do it anywhere, just it's not gonna show up. So yeah, clouds. And funny thing is, if you add the clouds fin anywhere, like here, it's still gonna work. Like you can add it in lighting or like workspace. Okay, so let's add it. Wow, okay, so this is the clouds feature. It is kind of randomized like every time you put it So let's mess around with the settings. So there's the density. So let's see what the density does And what if you do cover I'm pretty sure that's like gonna cover yeah, it's like stormy now Okay, that's pretty cool. Wow. So let me just keep it like this, like, like this. This looks nice, like with the volcano, wow. When I was like looking at this earlier before recording, I literally noticed that the clouds are moving. Like they're moving in a direction, which is nice. Like, ooh, the sun flares, let's, oh, the game already has sun rays. So, and the funny thing is, look, my camera's like flying up and I'm getting closer to the clouds. Like, this is how far I am. Holy, I'm like up here. Whoa. Wait, I'm inside the cloud. So yeah, this is what it looks like, which is nice. So yeah, this is basically it. Like, you know, Roblox will obviously be updating this. Like, this is just the start. Like, it looks good already, but they're gonna make it even better. You can like have no clouds at all, but I tried like scripting this, but it didn't work for me for some reason. Like I don't know if you can't do that, or I just did something wrong in the script. Another thing I wanted to try out, which is interesting, is... So first I'm gonna make this stormy. Um, 
like really stormy like it's gonna rain or something or like it's raining already see? and then I'm going to uh, there's a plugin where it can rain so here's the editor let me just enable it so this is what it looks like holy this looks so good like the clouds and the rain okay now let's add depth for field for like a second oh wait there is, oh it's disabled okay here it is Wait, what? Oh my god, this is R15. Okay, let's ignore that. That is cool. Like, imagine in games, right? It's gonna turn nighttime and they like bring the clouds. That is so cool. Like, I would love to see how games are gonna use this. And the clouds, like, the thing about them is that what color only changes, like, depending on what time it is. Like, it doesn't change on the screen. On the skybox like if your skybox is red the clouds are not gonna be red it doesn't work like that well why now I don't know how I don't know how it's gonna be in the future so far wait Ooh, I just noticed something wait so let's make it daytime like this looks nice like so this is basically the cycle so it's nighttime right it turn, there's the moon which is holy th this looks so cool like the moon comes from the clouds like and then it's daytime like you see how the clouds are like pink and then like gold and then the sun comes here yep oh whoa the moon's like more covered up oh that's cool yeah the clouds are moving wow that is so cool like I would love to see like showcase like games use this type of um, Technology like like I said this is new and it's not like released. I'm pretty sure you can't see this in Roblox games for now Like it's only in studio If you made it to the end of the video, you're like one of the top like 10% of people or less Who actually watched to the end and that is nice and you're the best for that Hope this tutorial helped you and see you guys in another video